maybe to come down and take the red that's closest to the left corner pocket that would have freed the black but unfortunately he's a little straight and that makes this shot just that little bit more difficult has to put a lot of screw into this cue ball now take it back to the blue and when you're playing at pace shots missable and this time just a little too far on the blue it's still on to the left middle and he could go into that pack of reds releasing the pink Chance to take it into the corner. So there must be a red there available. That was a much more difficult shot. Yes, there is one available, Joe, to the right corner, and uh, he's right on it. There it is. Has he screwed back enough on the blue? Well, again, he's a little unfortunate there, Marco Fu. A little harder. It was the right side of the blue. A little softer and the red wouldn't have gone on as close to the cushion as it, is, as it has by the left side corner, left, left corner pocket. See if Henry just have a little bit of that drink of water. Is there any vodka in that? I can say with 100% assurance, Joe, positively not. I think I did agree with you there, Mike. <laughs> now he's, if he takes this red on down the cushion... 22. And that's the one I was talking about a moment ago. It's a little unlucky that the red has gone as close to the cushion as, as it has. But if this one goes in, it frees the black. And there it goes. Good shot. And now this is beginning to develop. That was a nice little delicate screw shot to a hole for the black. And he's got choices here. He could play for the red that's parallel to the black spot. Or he could play for the one behind the black spot and try and leave it in such a way as to be able to play the cannon to the red that's just to the right of the black spot. Just depends what kind of angle he's got here. Has to be accurate now. Not a lot to play with there in the position. If he goes too far, he's on nothing. Looks to be just right. Stevens had three shots. And he hasn't played one of them nice yet. Break-off shot was by the bork. His next shot was short of the bork. And his third shot didn't get past the blue. Now another poor positional shot from Marco Fu. He's the wrong side of the blue again. These are missable. Yes, last time he played a very good brown Had to come round the angles and back up for another red. It was a lot closer to the brown, though, Yes, Mike. he was, that's it, true. This is a, a, a lot more difficult shot, this one, and that's why he's taking his time over it. 
Doesn't want to miss the brown and get position. And let Stephen Henry back into the game. At the same time, he wants to win the frame at this visit. There goes the brown. But didn't really commit to the position. 40. And it's easy to misjudge things in the first frame. Now played with safety in mind. And I suppose 40 break. It's not a bad start. Would have expected more. As long as he didn't leave an easy starter for Stephen Henry. That's what his concern was. No attempt at the pot. But as you can see, the cue ball just about reaching the balk line and that's just not good enough. It's got to be tight or close to the cushion. A shot to nothing here. That's a better safety shot. And you've got to say that because Stephen Hendry didn't get the cue ball close to the cushion last time round, he's faced with this tough pot now. again as you can see that cue ball just about reaching the balk line a good safety from Stephen Henry and it is a good one Dangerous if the cue ball drifts and he's left a chance to the right middle.
Nine. Not a good shot. Needed to catch the red thin to send the cue ball closer to the black. Caught it nearly full ball. And this is a tough pink. Always used to be a great middle pocket player, Stephen Rendick. Stephen Henry along with other pockets, of course, but the middles always used to be his favourite. And proving that he's still got it. Yes, he used to practice 16. those shots for hours on end. Well, this could yet be a steal following that 40 that Marco got before he missed the red with the rest. Yes, it's a chance. But there's a couple of dodgy reds. But a chance to get his arm going, get some confidence. Again, I thought it might have played the cannon to the reddish closest to there. 37. Could have developed it and been on it. Worst case scenario, it would still have been on this one. Just think he avoided the shot a little there, Stephen. 37. Could have got closer to that red. But he's back in the game and he hasn't left anything easy. And that just shows you how tight these pockets are when he refuses the red along that black cushion rail there. Could have rolled that in and been on the black. Pockets very tight though. Well, that's half a chance of going in, but look where the cue ball is again. It's just not good enough, that. And will he be tempted at this red? Looks like he is. Yeah, good shot, but not a good kiss. Marco one. No attempt at the pot. And Stephen Henry got to be careful here not to push that red over the right side corner pocket. Oh. How about that for a plant? Yes. <laughs> a quick apology from Stephen to Marco. They all count, though. <clears throat> Stephen Hendry won.
Well, he could have got that cue ball a little nearer to the green and it would have stopped this one cushion escape off the left side cushion. Would have had to have gone into balk. And decided to play the two cushion escape. And this red is cuttable to the middle. How close is the cue ball going to be to the balk corner pocket? An excellent chance now <clears throat> for Stephen to steal this, having sat out the first half of the frame. Seven. Yes, a good 40 from Marco, but uh, that red that he missed with the rest might well be his downfall in this opener. The first of a possible seven, remember. All the matches, including the final on Sunday evening, best of seven in these PTCs. Well, that was the all-important ball for Stephen. Frame ball, and he's not going to miss this pink. 25 to yes, so a bit of a steal there from Stephen. Marco coming to grief with the rest when he scored 40, and Stephen eventually opening his account with a 37 and then clearing up to take the first frame. Stephen Hendry 1, Marco Fu 0.